A very serious situation shaping up for the west coast of Florida, but especially here in the Tampa Bay region. Hurricane watches have now turned into hurricane warnings, which essentially means in about a 24 to 36 hour window, very late Wednesday, it could be early Thursday morning, maybe midnight, 1 a.m., expecting landfall with this system and hurricane force winds. Still forecast to be either maybe a major category three or potentially even a four hurricane upon landfall. So many spots like Pinellas County and Hillsborough County already have mandatory evacuations in place, specifically from Pinellas, ABC zones, and also some mobile home areas. And just in case you know somebody that hasn't left at this point, 10 to 15 feet of storm surge not only could be record setting, but in many respects, life threatening. So urging those that may still be in evacuation zones to please leave. There are places that you can go and maybe you know someone please urge them to do so. Again, 10 to 15 feet of storm surge, a lot more significant than what many of us saw with Helene, which is not to say that wasn't in some respects significant. As for conditions preparing today, we do have some very limited time ahead of this system, but at this point, any last minute preparations, especially for those that are not leaving, that are not in evacuation zones and have decided to stay, need to be rushed towards completion. We're going to see a couple scattered showers today, some extra cloud cover. I would like to add at this point, you should also have plenty days worth of food and water. Depending on where the system makes landfall, which could be just around the Tampa, Tampa Bay area, just off to the south, it could be without powder, power, many of us, for several days at a time. So, of course, kind of contributing that or thinking about that in your plans. Rainfall will be a big concern. If the center of the storm kind of hits right at the mouth of the Tampa Bay area, we could see this rather large streak of rainfall just around St. Pete, Tampa. Many of us will easily see five to eight inches, but many spots could be pushing closer to a foot. So not just concerns about storm surge, but areas inland that are low lying. Also a high risk for flash flooding. So if you're in one of those areas, it actually may be a good idea to find somewhere else to be given the amount of rainfall we're expecting with this tropical system. Again, not just areas towards the coast evacuating, but flood prone areas, a big concern as well. High temps tomorrow, upper 70s, low 80s. And by the time this system approaches, by the afternoon, that's when we're going to start to pick up on tropical storm force winds, hurricane, short, uh, hurricane winds shortly after, and also the expectation for a couple of spin-up tornadoes to be possible. So certainly having to stay weather aware. But many of us at this point have already hit 75 and I-4. 78 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Here's our local Doppler radar. 